2,000 years ago, black man made his first fall. When he came out of the Holy City of Mecca and went into the jungles. And he proved himself that he was the master of all things. So today, brothers and sisters, we learn that what we have been taught in the past by our 400 year old enemies was that which would degrade us and not make us wise. That's right, Brother Master. Yes, sir. That is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said we have to be re educated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The education we got from the devil was wrong. That's right. We were taught about everybody but self. That's right. That's right. And self preservation is the first law of nature. That's right. right. Yes, sir. But you can't preserve yourself if you have no knowledge of yourself. Yes, that's right. true. So the Honorable Muhammad taught us first the knowledge of self, who we were, who God was, and who the devil was. Yes, sir. So there is no excuse for the black man today not to know self. But because of the education the devil have put into our minds, have caused us to reject self. Today we want to be more like him yes, we do. than yes. like ourselves. That's right, that's right. Be gone. We fight against self because of the devil's mentality. That's right, brother. That's right. That we have been put in. Why do you think it's not more here today than it should be? It is because of the devil's mentality. Why do you think there's no more Muslims, or so-called Muslims, that is united today with us? Because of the devil mentality still in them. That's right. Keep the show. Huh? Yes, sir. They need to be re educated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? The other mother teaching them not something enough for them to know they can't go out there and govern self without the true teachings and knowledge of the other Elijah Muhammad. We have been given that which no other people on earth have been given. Listen, right, right. listen. Right. Yes, sir. A Savior was born for us. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Praise you, to Allah. We must understand that the Honorable Muhammad did something that no other, other black man had ever done. He brought the light and truth to us. But he was so uh, real about that which he brought. He said, find one word that I teach you a lot, and I give $10,000 in my life. That's right, yes, sir. You've never heard anyone else say something like that. Yes, sir. That's right. That is because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was so sure of himself because he said that God, Allah, took his mind out of him and replace it with Allah's mind. Yes, right. yes, so when you hear the Honorable Elijah speak, he's speaking right. the word of Allah. Yes, the devil with all his 
knowledge never challenged the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's right. Still don't. We had a God in our midst. That's right. Is that right? Yes, sir. It's like the Bible teaches you. When the people were in the wilderness following Moses, they wanted water. And he told Moses to strike the rock. And 12 drops of water went out of the mouth. Rock. For each tribe moved their own drinking place. That's right. When they were hungry, he told Moses to strike the air. And food would come down. Manna, as they call it. So, and then Moses was so strict, precise in what he was doing. People didn't call on God. They called on Moses. And God said, look what I've done for you, Moses. I made you a God over your people. The animal Elijah Muhammad went through all the miracle, there's more evil and wicked people on earth, and nobody ever touched him. That's true. That's right. That's right. They saw him as what they were, except the black man and woman in America. Wow. Yes, sir. They should have been running to him out of hundreds of thousands. That's right. They should be running the day to Islam. Yes, sir. That's right. Islam is their only salvation. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We will survive because we are following a God that will not forsake us. Yes, sir. Listen. Our time in bondage were up in 1955. Yes, sir. We were first. First brought here in 1555. Yes, 400 years were well, up. Uh, we are uh, far overdue. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why are we hindering our deliverance? The other guy said, if God had brought us out of here in 1955 when our time was up, that millions and millions of our people would have been destroyed mm. with the devil. Listen, listen. But as it says in Daniel, that the people would give it time and time and time. It's a tease, brother, brother. If we had been delivered, we wouldn't be here today. And our people would have been destroyed. Yes, right. But God extended the time because, as the other Elijah Muhammad said, He didn't want to leave none of us behind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Think about it. Yes, sir. Allah is a merciful God. That's right. That's right. But our time is up. Right. That's right. Right. We standing in the way of our own deliverance. Yes, we want to see this devil destroyed. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we don't want to be destroyed with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The other Elijah said that we are like sheep that is out in the valley. Yes, and you see the wolf and the fox fighting over which one is going to get the teeth. And the little sheep is sitting there, one room for the fox, another one room for the wolf. <laughs> Not realizing which one survived that the sheep is food right, for the winter. Yes, 
So he said, instead of sitting there waiting, get out of the way. Don't sit there and wait to watch to see which one is going to win. Huh? Be thankful and run for your life. And that's what black people should be doing, running to Islam for life. Because they know the time is up. Our brothers have done a wonderful job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Teaching. Unity is what God wanted. He wanted us to unite. Unity is the key. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's right. If unity is the key, then why aren't we united? Good question. Good question. I'm tired of waiting myself. I'm tired of waiting. I'm 89 years old. Oh, and I want to see the end of this world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now most of you all want to see it too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. And I pray every day that Allah blesses me, guide me, protect me, and keep me on the right path. Yes, sir. And the believers on the right path. Yes, sir. And to remove from among us forever our enemies, yes, disbelievers, and hypocrites. That's right. That's right. Get them out of here. That's right, brother. Right. Get them out of here. That's right. There is a place in the Holy Quran, in the ninth chapter. In the ninth chapter, the Holy Quran. And it speaks of the, those who build mouse temples. In order to be back. There are those around me of the Zay Arab. These are hypocrites and are people of Medina. It goes on to say they persist in hypocrisy. Thou know them not, not. We know them. We will chastise them twice. Yes, sir. Then they will be turned back to a previous chastisement. 
another place in the ninth chapter. Where it speaks of those who And they will swear they are all for the good. He said, but Allah knows that they are liars. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. right. Please take your time with this one. <laughs> Make it plain. We have those who set up temples on their own. Allah didn't tell them to set up, set up the temple. They told themselves. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. If Allah had told them to set up a temple, they would be united. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. But they are self-guided yes, ministers. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Talk about them. Who refuse to unite. And if the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had been here today, yes. these yes. brothers would be in the grave. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Division in Islam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Allah came to unite us. Yes. The other Elijah Muhammad did unite us. Yes, sir. And then we broke away yes, sir. from the unity. Yes. yes, sir. Think about it. Yes, sir. what the other Elijah Muhammad would do today if he was still alive with us. Yes, sir. And saw the disunity. Yes. When as hard as he worked. To unite us. Yes. The other Muhammad wanted to see this day. Yes, he did. Yes, huh? yes. But we drove him to his grave. Yes. By our hypocrisy. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dividing our people. Yes, sir. Holding us back. We would be in a land of our own already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If we had listened. And follow the teaching of the Arabic coming. You can't go out there and say, I'm a Muslim, I believe in the Muhammad, and I'm teaching what the Arabic Muhammad taught. Yes. He didn't teach division. That's right. He taught unity. That's right. And if you believe in the Arabic Muhammad, you would be teaching unity. That's right. That's right. That's right. I've been traveling all over. Right. Brothers who are with me can bear witness where I go. They are preaching disunity. Yes, sir. Said I don't want shame. Islam. Shame. It's a shame. As a leader, I know what to be my leader. Huh? That's right. Think about that. Think about it. There is leadership in everything. Everything. In your home, there's a leader there. That's right. In any organization, there's a leader. In a government, there's a leader. How can you stand on the pulpit, say, I represent the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and say, I don't need nobody to lead me? That all I need is the Holy Quran and the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The people have had the Holy Quran and the Bible for hundreds of thousands of years. Yes, sir. But they didn't understand because they didn't have the true leader from God to teach them understand. Yes, so I stand before you not as one that was self-made. I didn't make myself. 
That's right. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad made me. Yes, sir. He said, I'm teaching you like God taught me. Yes, sir. And I want you to teach that which I teach. You can't make a mistake as long as you teach what I teach. Yes, sir. Because I didn't make mistakes. Yes, sir. The teaching is a powerful teaching. Yes, sir. That's right. God is on our side yes, sir. when we follow the true teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One time, one time. We got plenty of time, brother. Yes, sir. Plenty of time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Devil time is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, as the young wise mama taught me one day, he was teaching me. We would ride up in the mountains in Arizona. And he said that when we ride up here, the devil can't hear what I'm saying. Mm. He said, because some of the things that I tell you, you can't speak on it right. until you hear me speak on it, mm. until Allah blesses you to speak on it. But never go out and teach what I teach until you hear me teach first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because if you do, you put yourself in front of me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait till you hear me say it, and then you say it. Yes, yes, so he told me some things that I'm not ready yet to say because time is not right. You know, you can say things before time and get a whole lot of people destroyed. Right. So, I ask you to think about the time that we are living in and what must be done. I thank Allah for the young Elijah Muhammad. I'll pray to Allah. Yes, sir. No. Allah has blessed me to never have to go on the night of the devil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He has blessed me with my help. Praise be to Allah. Bless. He has protected me. But when you follow a God who watches over his children, then you don't have anything to worry about except to keep them on the right path. I don't want to see our people destroyed by the hundreds and thousands. The other black man told me one day that he wanted to get them all. He said he prayed to Allah that when the time comes for the destruction of this devil to take us out of here, all of us, and separate us from the hypocrites, those who refuse to accept and do righteous. And put us on an island, or put them on an island by themselves. And burn them up there. Don't burn them up with the devil. <laughs> yes, sir. So, we today is at the brink of destruction. Yes, sir. We see the fire, the arrows that Allah said he would use against the devil. Right. Striking him right and left. That devil is afraid. So he so don't know where or when his final destruction is going to come. That's right. He has no friends in the world. That's right. 
You don't have enough money to buy all of them. That's right. That's right. Even though those who have given millions of dollars, he have given millions and millions of dollars to them to be his friends. They are turning against him. That's right. Now he's begging the Arabs, the nations, to turn against their own. ISIS is being funded by Arabs <laughs> and their own. They have taken and sweeping up all that wealth that was left in Iraq. Taking their weapons and everything. Muslim country, countries around the globe are following ISIS. Libya. Take your time. Take your time. Man. Just behead twenty-one Christians. That's right. Huh? Mm. That devil is so afraid he don't know when the next execution is going to come and where it's going to come from. Sure. Mm. That's right. But he retaliated and executed. Three Muslims in North Carolina mm -hmm. the other day. Mm -hmm. Listen up, listen up. Students. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that when that devil time is up, he will mass destruct mm -hmm. and he will self destruct himself. Yes, he will turn it against himself. Yes, sir. That's right. And we see that happening. What should a black man be doing today? As the brother said, they should be running to Islam. There shouldn't be a place where the teaching of the animalized Muhammad is taught that is not fully packed. That's right. What is the duty of the civilized? It's your lesson. Teach the uncivilized. If you don't spread the teaching that you have heard and try to teach others, you will be charged with manslaughter. The young black woman said that after me, that will come executioners. Is that right? When you turn away a believer, a non-believer from Islam, that's executing him. It's like taking a bullet and blowing his brains out. That's right. When a minister turns away from the true guidance and tells the believers to follow him when they don't have no direction themselves. If they had direction themselves, they would be following one that is guiding to Allah and the message. That's right. That's right. I'm not putting myself in a position of trying to put myself above others. But though the Quran says that I will raise some above others yes, in knowledge. That I may try others. There's so much Indian jealousy. Yes, Cain huh? kill Abel because God sided with Abel. Yes. God chose Abel. Mm -hmm. I remember when uh, in 1966, the Honorable Elijah sent me to March number 27, Los Angeles. Yes, sir. And John Ali, he's alive. Uh -huh. He and Supreme Captain Raymond Sharif, Elijah Muhammad Jr. They came out there, the messenger sent them out there. Yes, sir. And he 
called me and told me, he said, brother, I want you to go to 27 today. And that was that morning. And said, uh, I want you to sit the minister down. And up. Captain Listen. Sharif and John Ali is, is on their way already. They'll be there at the time for the meeting. So I went and took over the roster. Yes, sir. And right after that, the following week, there was 27 believers that wrote a messenger and told him they signed a petition that they wanted another minister. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They didn't want me. Take your time. Take your time. Man. So the messenger sent me the letter I have right now of all the names that was on that list. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he said, have the captain and the sister captain to bring all of them to the temple Sunday. And he said, I'm sending Captain Shabit and John Ali back. And in this letter he said, have them Come front and stand up on the, before the roster and give them all six months in class of time. <laughs> and he told me to read the letter, and I wrote the letter, and he said, How dare anyone to question my authority? He said, I know the brother better than he knew himself. He said, a brother lived with me. I taught him day and night. And you're going to tell me that I don't know what I'm doing? So, brothers and sisters, this is how some of them blinded, minded our people are. They want to question the messenger. Yes, sir. We have them like that today. They want to question my authority. My authority is Allah's authority. Yes, sir. It's the messenger's authority. Yes, sir. He sent me, and he told me to spread the truth throughout the country. That's what I've been doing. Yes, and I have brothers that bear witness everywhere I go. They rejected me. Yes, is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In North Carolina, or South, South Carolina, Virginia, Virginia. I went to a Savior's Day there, and they had three temples there yes, that had divided themselves mm -hmm. and having three different Savior's Days. Yes. And each one of them only had a dozen or more people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I told them that if you united and had one Savior's Day, yes. all the teachers then the people would come. Yes, sir. They don't want to come to a divided temple. That's right. They want to come to a united people. That's right. And they question my qualification. My qualification is open. I set up over 23 temples. Yes, sir. sir. I've gone in the cotton fields yes, with the Muhammad Speak newspaper yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. and walked along while the people were picking cotton, mm. talking to them, and waiting until after they finished the day. And we would go to one of them's house and I would teach Islam. We got brothers, they don't want to even get out there. And sell the mom and speak right. 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 They'd rather sit at home. Right. Right. Tell it, tell it, That's right. Yes, sir. All praise you do tell us. Yes, yes, sir. 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 Y
name. Yes, sir. When we realize that this is for our own salvation, I'm not here to guide anyone away. I'm here to welcome them to the feast that we are getting ready to celebrate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll praise be to Allah. Isn't that what uh, God did for the prodigal son? Yes, sir. He said, this is my son who was lost, but is now found. Yes, sir. Who was dead, but is now alive. Yes, sir. Bring a robe and put on it. A ring on his finger. Think about it. We were lost. The people in the East who called themselves Orthodox Muslims don't want us to come back home to our God. They sitting out there enjoying all the money and pleasures right. huh? that should be ours. That's right. And what did Allah say to Abraham? I would bring them out of that land into their own and good substance. Right. They are sitting where we should be. Right. And that is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said in my conclusion, <laughs> the moon is the number one challenge. And it represents us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The first place you see the moon is in the western skies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the crescent. Yes. They call it the new moon. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Our crescent means a new nation. That's right. And as the moon began to grow to a full moon, then you see it rise in the eastern skies. Is that right? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's the first time you see the full moon. Yes, sir. It grows in stages till it get a full moon and then it rises in the eastern skies. Meaning that when we grow from a new nation into yes. a whole nation yes, sir. Yes. with wisdom, knowledge of God, then we are able to sit on our throne in the East. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Savior was born. Yes, sir. I thank you. May Allah bless you. Yes, sir. As I greet you with the greetings of peace and paradise. Salaam alaikum. Well, 
mastery, which is unproductive in producer of God. Go ahead, Brother. Yes, sir. Well, brothers, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us that many of us were turned against our own. Many of us of envy and jealous. The devil has put into us his brain. You don't get slavery time teaching completely out of you until time. It's like the moon. You grow out of it, just like you grew into it. The devil's teaching. He put it into you, and you grew up into it. And it takes time to cleanse you out of Time is running out, so we don't have that time anymore. So we must understand, many are called, a few chosen. So many are going to be left behind. God knows what's in your mind. We can't make anyone accept our reject. That is between them and Allah. So the way they are going, we have no control. All we can do is teach the message. Ezekiel, God said to Ezekiel, Son of man, go and warn them. But whether you warn them or not, they won't believe. Right. And Abraham said, Lord, if you know they're not going to believe, then why warn them? And God said, so they won't have an excuse. That's right. When they're to be in school. So God always warned a people. The Holy Quran teaches you prophet after prophet, warn the people before God destroyed them. Yes, so all we can do is warn our people. That time is up. Yes, sir. Our time is up. Thank you. Yeah, God bless you. Yes, ma'am. Take the system first. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, yes, ma With the destruction going on, rain and snow and everything, are we guided to move into the center of this country? If he's playing on the surrounding the outskirts of the entire country. No, uh, we are not guided to move into the center of the country. What the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us, the center of the country would be better for us. But we are not ready because we don't have places to put our people. And when you hear the call, run to the call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. My name is Brother Atala Shabbat Allah. I have a question, and my question is in terms of the nation of Islam, you know the division of uh, different brothers that have temples in various parts of this country, the United States. Do you think it's in time that the brothers in the nation of Islam in various temples will come together as one? Do you think it's possible that it would happen in this day and time? If they want to be saved, they're going to have to do it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I've heard this here before about the center. Exactly where will the center of this country be at? What is the actual state? It will be somewhere in Texas. That's the Midwest. Yes, sir. 
the other black members that said that we have to have a departing point and we have to be close to a country that we can get out of. You know, here, Mexico um, is a country that we can easily get out of. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, What's your name, brother? Jerome X. Now, in these modern times that we are now, uh, Brother Minister, we got social media. And I want to ask you, um, like, there's a courtship process that you got to go with to get involved with one of the sisters. Um, now that we got uh, Facebook and all of this, it's like a lot of the believers is on Facebook, so now you can, like, kind of circumvent that with Facebook, um, that process somewhat through social media. Uh, I want to ask you, as the messenger, Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, if he was here, would he allow the believers to be on uh, Facebook and things of that nature? If they're communicating that which you will unite them, but that foolishness that a lot of them see on there mm -hmm. doing, yes, people dragging holy names, through the mud, yes, sir. calling yes, sir. themselves this and that. Yes. That's right, that's right. The Honorable Elijah said, you take a name, take one, you can live up to it. That's right. That's right. You can live up to it. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, my brothers. We've got a couple of more points. Yes, sir. One or two. What is being done to foster unity amongst the other um, actions of the nation of Islam? What is being done? What is being done by how many churches is being done to foster unity amongst the other split, split of those you know, actions of the nation of Islam? Well, you see, in Islam, and the reason that is many ministers that don't want to unite, that is because they don't want to be under the restrictive law. Yes, sir. That's, that's right. right. That's right. right. That's right. That's, right. that's why they said that they don't need a leader because they don't want to be led and questioned in things that they do. You see? Uh, but yet and still, they want the believers to look at them as a leader. Right. But in leader, in uh, unity, uh, in unity of anything, there's someone got to lead you. What happened when Moses died? There was one that the people had not heard about much until Moses was ready to die. Yes, sir. And that was Joshua who led them to the promised land. Yes, sir. There was no lot of them. But if you notice and read the Holy Quran and the Bible, there was straight away during the 40 years that they were in the wilderness. Yes, there were many who strayed away and didn't follow Joshua right. to the promised land. And it's that way now, we see the spread away. But when Allah called and make the call to come out, he's not going to tell everybody. He's going to tell one who he chooses to bring the people out and guide them. Yes, because nobody knows where we are to be guided to except one that Allah chooses. He's not going to tell everyone. Because if he did, they would be breaking away, running, trying to get there before the others got there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Brother Akbar, uh, 
I refuse to register to vote. I mean to draft. So I went to prison. And if I can go to prison, you can too. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So Wallace became angry with the messenger at that time. Wow. And when Wallace was sent to prison, the messenger got his family together, his wife and children, brought them to Chicago and kept them there with him. But when Wallace got out of prison, he went to Canada. He didn't come to Chicago. He went straight to Canada and joined the Akmadiyas. When he joined the Ahmadiyas, he later came to visit the messenger and his children. I remember one night, when I was in Chicago, and Minister James, James Chabas, who was the minister at number two, he came to the house and he told the messenger, said, did you know why this was in town? The messenger said, no, he had never said anything to me. He said, well, he came to the school today and he told me that he was going to come to the temple tonight and teach. And so the messenger said, well, if he come, let him teach. And he said, I want you to take Brother Minister here with you so he can listen to what he teach. And I went with him, and it seemed like everybody had deaf ears. There was nobody that opened their mouth to say, yes, sir, or, you know, that's right, or anything. Everybody just said. And he was rattling off things that uh, they do in Orthodox Islam. So we got back to the house, the minister said, what did you think, Brother Minister? I said, well, he didn't teach what you teach, you know, the pastor. <laughs> and he said, yeah, I know that. That's why I wanted you to go with me. <laughs> so, so as time went on, he would show up, you know, unannounced. And the messenger treated him just like uh, he had never left. But he warned me that Wallace is not the one. That he have gone over to Orthodox Islam. So when, as all of you know that, he publicly denounced his father. And then when Malcolm got killed, he ran back to the messenger because he was afraid. He was next. And so he begged the Holy Apostle to let him come back. And the young Elijah Muhammad said, no, brother. I will not give you that permission. He said, if on Savior's Day you want to come before the believers and they will agree. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He said, but I'm not going to right. you to come back. That's right. That's right. That's right. And he got up on Savior's Day and lied out again. <laughs> <laughs> so the believers, they made such an applaud, you know, understanding when he finished that they assumed that it was all right because it was the message of son. But uh, no backbone. He had already turned up. We well, see, you know, a true believer, a true leader of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, 
when he never changed. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. His first, what he said the night that we uh, accepted him, he said, I will never change anything that I'm about to teach So I will continue to follow in the line of the teaching that he taught. I won't change anything. Within six months, he had told the believers, you know more of the tribe of Shabbos. You believed it. He changed the name to Baladians. Right. Then he changed the Muhammad Speak newspaper to Malayan News. Yes, sir. Then he changed NGT in here and FOI said, you don't have to have FOI meetings anymore. MTC. That's what he said. You don't have to have no classes anymore. And he permitted them, permitted them to dance and do everything. But when you see a man changing the teaching, your Bible all the Quran say, Allah never changed. Yes, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad never changed. Yes, so why should you want to follow one that changed as if he knew more than the messenger knew? Farrakhan yes, did the same thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus was not killed. 
but one in the likeness of him. So you couldn't find nobody in the likeness of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad but the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's right. The only one that even looked like him was his brother John Muhammad. <laughs> so uh, he said, I said, well, how did you really come up to this idea that he's on the mother plane? He said, well, expose that. Ty Meadow, and I was talking when we, I went to New Mexico, Mexico City, probably. Mm -hmm. So we were sitting down, and she told me, I want you to go with me up to a place where there are Aztec Indians. And they're going to have a seance. And in the seance, he said that after the harmony and all that had gone on, probably smoking the East Bank, <laughs> that he was transferred to the mother plane. And then he saw the message. Now, if you think I'm lying, you may ask him. He won't deny he told me this. And said, so that's how it started. I said, well, the Arnold Hodge Muhammad has taught every Muslim, Muslim minister. Never teach that that you can't prove. <laughs> so he said, well, it's out there now. And uh, we just leave it like it is. Uh, wow. I was with Emmanuel right after death. That's the only son of the unblessed Muhammad. And he told me he was in the room when his dad took his last breath. So he bathed him and prepared him for the Muslim prayers. Now, if his own son don't know, that that was his father. None of his children believed that lie. Mm. And if anyone would know, his own children would know. Yes, sir. Listen, listen. So if none of them ever, <laughs> and they questioned my qualification, <laughs> my qualification is open. I set up over 23 temples. Yes, sir. sir. I've gone in the cotton fields yes, with the Muhammad Speak newspaper yes, sir. Mm. Yes, and walked along while the people were picking cotton, mm. talking to them, and waiting until after they finished the day. And we would go to one of them's house and I would teach Islam. We got brothers, they don't want to even get out there. And sell the mom and speak right. these people. Right. 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 They'd rather sit at home. Right. Tell it, tell it. That's right. Yes, sir. All praise you do tell us. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. that this is for our own salvation. I'm not here to drive anyone away. I'm here to welcome them to the feast that we are getting ready to celebrate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our praise be to Allah. Isn't that what uh, God did for the prodigal son? Yes, sir. He said, this is my son who was lost, yes, but is now found. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who was dead, but is now alive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring a robe and put on it. Yes, a ring on his finger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Think about it. We were lost. The people in the east who call themselves Orthodox Muslims don't want us. Yes, 
to come back home to our God. They sitting out there enjoying all the money and pleasures that should be ours. And what did Allah say to Abraham? I would bring them out of that land into their own and good substance. They are sitting where we should be. And that is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said in my conclusion, the moon is the number one challenge. And it represents us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The first place you see the moon is in the western skies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the crescent. Yes. They call it the new moon. Is that right? That's right. Our crescent means a new nation. And as the moon began to grow to a full moon, then you see it rise in the eastern skies. Is that right? That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. That's the first time you see the full moon. Yes, sir. It grows in stages till it get a full moon, and then it rises in the eastern skies. Meaning that when we grow from a new nation into a whole nation with wisdom, knowledge of God, then we are able to sit on our throne in the east. I thank you. May Allah bless you. Yes, sir. As I greet you with the greetings of peace and paradise. Salam alaikum. So we must understand 
Many are called, a few chosen. Yes, so many are going to be left behind. God knows what's in your mind. We can't make anyone accept or reject. Right. That is between them and Allah. So the way they are going, we have no control. All we can do is teach the message. Ezekiel, God said to Ezekiel, son of man, Go and warn them. But whether you warn them or not, they won't believe. Right. And Abraham said, Lord, if you know they're not going to believe, then why warn them? And God said, so they won't have an excuse right. when they're to be destroyed. So God always warned a people. The Holy Quran teaches you prophet after prophet warn the people before God destroyed them. Yes, sir. So all we can do is warn our people. That time is up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our time is up. <laughs> Thank you. We have our bless you. Yes, ma'am. No, uh, we are not guided to move into the center of the country. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us the center of the country would be better for us. But we are not ready because we don't have places to put our people. And when you hear the call, run to the call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. I have a question, and my question is, in terms of the nation of Islam, you know the division of uh, different brothers that have temples in various parts of this country, the United States. Do you think in time that the brothers in the nation of Islam in various temples will come together as one? Do you think it's possible that it would happen in this day and time? If they want to be saved, they're going to have to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Salahuddin Shaman Salah, and I've heard this here before about the center. Exactly where will the center of this country be at? What is the actual state? It will be somewhere in Texas. That's the Midwest. Yes, sir. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said that we have to have a departing point and we have to be close to a country that we can get out of, you know, here, Mexico um, is a country that we can easily get out of. Yes, sir. Thank you. Asalaamu Alaikum. What's your name, brother? Jerome X. Um, now, in these modern times that we are now, uh, Brother Minister, we got social media. And uh, I want to ask you, um, like, there's a courtship process that you got to go with to get involved with one of the sisters. Um, now that we got uh, Facebook and all of this, it's like a lot of the believers is on Facebook, so now you can, like, kind of circumvent that with Facebook, um, that process somewhat through social media. Um, I want to ask you, as the messenger 
most honorable Elijah Muhammad, if he was here, would he allow the believers to be on uh, Facebook and things of that nature? If they're communicating, that which you will unite them. But that foolishness that a lot of them see on there mm -hmm. doing. Yes, people dragging holy names through the mud, yes, sir. Yes, sir. calling yes, sir. themselves this and that. That's right. That's right. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, you take a name, take one, you can live up to it. That's right. That's right. You can live up to it. Because nobody knows where we are to be guided to except one that Allah chooses. He's not going to tell everyone. Because if he did, they would be breaking away, running, trying to get there before the others got there. Right. 
So they put out there what they want out there. Yes, sir. The news media, media is a powerful thing. Yes, sir. Look what happened to Williams. This anchor, Brian Williams. Yes. He told lies about all these things. And people believed those lies until they were questioned. And then he began to change and tell another lie. So you can't believe what you hear in the media all the time. They're not going to tell you, especially when the war is on between the Muslims and the Christians, they're going to give you propaganda. And our people are so blind, deaf, and dumb, they don't believe anything because they have not yet accepted the truth. Yes, sir. What was I at? I was in Texas teaching the teachers of the Almighty. But I was there in Chicago the night after the message passed when he got before the ministers and the captains and told them that now you can do what you've been wanting to do. If you want two or more wives, you can get them. And I had told the ministers that was in my district that Wallace was not chosen. That's right. That's right. That's right. The believers were at a, at a certain point at that day and time that they were almost forced to listen to Wallace. It had been said from his birth he would be one to take over. So a lot of them still believe that. But Wallace had become a hypocrite long before the message In 1961, or was it two, Wallace came to Phoenix. And when he came to Phoenix, he asked the messenger, he was the minister in Philadelphia at the time, to defend, have a defense counsel to uh, defend him in court because he didn't want to go to prison for drought evasion. So the messenger told him, you're not better, no better than me. He said, I went to prison because they told me that I refused to register the vote. I mean to draft. So I went to prison. And if I can go to prison, you can too. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So Wallace became angry with the messenger at that time. Wow. And when Wallace was sent to prison, the messenger got his family together, his wife and children, brought them to Chicago and kept them there with him. But when Wallace got out of prison, he went to Canada. He didn't come to Chicago. He went straight to Canada and joined the Akmadiyas. Wow. Go ahead, take the head to When he joined the Akmadiyas, he later came to visit the messenger and his children. I 
remember one night, I was in Chicago, and Minister James, James Chabas, who was the minister at number two, he came to the house and he told the messenger, said, did you know Wallace was in town? The messenger said, no, he never said anything to me. He said, well, he came to the school today and he told me that he was going to come to the temple tonight and teach. And so the messenger said, well, if he come, let him teach. And he said, I want you to take Brother Minister here with you so he can listen to what he teach. And I went with him and it seemed like everybody had deaf ears. There was nobody that opened their mouth to say, yes sir, or, you know, that's right, or anything. Everybody just sit. And he was rattling off things that uh, they do in Orthodox Islam. So we got back to the house, and Russell said, what did you think, Brother Minister? I said, well, he didn't teach what you teach, you know, the pastor. <laughs> and he said, yeah, I know that. That's why I wanted you to go with me. <laughs> so, so as time went on, he would show up, you know, unannounced, and the messenger treated him just like he had never left. But he warned me that Wallace is not the one. That he had gone over to Orthodox Islam. So when, as all of you know that, he publicly denounced his father. And then when Malcolm got killed, he ran back to the messenger because he was afraid. He was next. And so he begged the Holy Apostle to let him come back. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, no, brother. I will not give you that permission. He said, if on Savior's Day you want to come before the believers and they Will agree. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Said, but I'm not going right. to come That's back. Right. That's right. And he got up on Savior's Day and lied out again. <laughs> so the yes, believers, they made such an applaud, you know, understanding when he finished that they assumed that it was all right because it was the messenger's son. But uh, no bad he had already turned up. We well, see, you know, a true believer, a true leader of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, when he never changed. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. His first, what he said the night that we uh, accepted him. He said, I will never change anything that I'm about to teach you. So I will continue to follow in the line of the teaching that he taught. I won't change anything. Within six months, he had told the believers, you know more of the tribe of Shabbos. You believe it. He changed the name to Baladia. Then he changed the Muhammad Speak newspaper to the Millennium News. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then he changed NGT in here and FOI said, you don't have to have FOI news anymore. MTC, That's what he said. you don't have to have no classes anymore. 
And he permitted them, permitted them to dance and do everything. But when you see a man changing the teaching, your Bible, the Holy Quran, says, Allah never changed. Yes, the other Elijah Muhammad never changed. Yes, so why should you want to follow one that changed as if he knew more than the messenger knew? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. did the same thing. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Probably smoking at least 
bank. <laughs> then he was transferred to the metal plane. And then he saw the message. Now if you think I'm lying, you may ask him. He wanted to know he told me this. And so that's how it started. I said, well, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught every Muslim, Muslim minister Never teach that what you can't prove. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he said, Well, it's out there now, and uh, we just leave it like it is. Uh, no. I was with Emmanuel right up there. Death, that's the only son of the humble African Muhammad. And he told me he was in the room when his dad took his last breath. So he bathed him and prepared him for the Muslim prayers. Now if his own son don't know that that was his father, none of his children believed that lie. And if anyone would know, his own children would know. Listen, listen. So if none of them ever 